This is the Akron News Now update. I'm Lindsay McCoy in our top story. He admitted to murdering a Twinsburg police officer and now Ashford Thompson is on his fourth round of attorneys. This as he faces his sentencing. Lawyers number seven and eight were appointed for Thompson, who is convicted of murdering officer Josh McTarian. Thompson and his new counsel will be back in court for a hearing on December 18th. From there, the new court dates will be set, likely including a date for Thompson's sentencing, and the death penalty remains an option. And Kent State University is hoping to shell out big bucks to give the campus a facelift. The Record Courier reports that the KSU Board of Trustees approved funding which will be used to create new buildings while updating other facilities on campus. The work could start next year and will also address health and safety issues. A man from Stowe and a man from Akron are being held in the Twinsburg Jail after being charged with involuntary manslaughter charges in connection with a fatal hit and skip accident that happened on September 15th. Police say Ricky Melton and Michael Rusu began a chain of events that ultimately led to the death of a man riding on his motorcycle that day. The pair are accused of stealing a trailer that then fell from their vehicle as they were traveling on 480. It eventually landed on the other side of that highway. That's where Michael Hall of Akron made contact with it. He was thrown from his bike. He died several weeks later from his injuries. A judge has set bond for the two at $500,000. And two Akron residents are in trouble after police found heroin in their home after a search on Tuesday. While investigating at the home in the 700 block of West Market Street, the narcotics unit discovered seven bundles, 70 bags of heroin and $240 in cash. Now, authorities also found records and documents pertaining to drug trafficking. 56-year-old Joanne Colbert and 59-year-old Avon Richardson were arrested as a result of the search. Each had been booked in the Summit County Jail and their arrests concluded a two-month investigation. Well, if you're looking for an H1N1 vaccine, we have two going on in our area today. Two clinics, one at Manchester Middle School from 4 to 7 and one at Hudson High School from 4 to 7 o'clock as well. You can visit AkronNewsNow.com for more flu coverage. It's found right on our homepage. Taking a look at our local forecast, scattered showers today. We have a high in the 50s. 58 degrees will be our high today. 56 on Thursday. The rain continues with a 70% chance for showers, so these showers will last us through Thursday. Friday, partly sunny skies. Saturday and Sunday, same goes with highs in the low 50s. In sports, the Cavs take on the Wizards tonight. Game time is set for 7 o'clock, and you can hear that game live on 1590 WAKR. If you have a news tip, you can send me an email. It's news at rcrg.net. And you can also follow our updates on Twitter and on Facebook, too. Follow AkronNewsNow.com for the latest local news for news online, on demand, now. For Akron News Now, I'm Lindsay McCoy. Yeah. <laughs>